Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here. Thank you for checking out my videos. Go to thecombatsystem.com for all your mixed martial arts needs. And please subscribe to my YouTube page. Cats. Pounding me, and it was a good time. Thank you very much. Thank for you. Thank um, for helping me. Uh, make sure to subscribe to this guy's uh, channel, Dan the Wolfman. You respect the game, man. You know the game. You know what you're talking about. And uh, yeah. Did you narrated uh, MMA well, thank you, sir. number five versus Yoshihiro Akiyama, a.k.a. Choi Sung-hyun, Anyo Heiseo, and Konnichiwa. He was a judo specialist, judo gold medalist, 2001 Asian Championships, 2002 Asian Games, third Dan in judo, 15-7 and seven MMA record, 5'10", 189, versus my 5'10", 3 quarter, 198 pounds at this time. I was ripped during the summer of 2014. He was preparing for Kyle Nook, Nok, who fell out and was replaced by Amir Saidala. So this is really me testing myself against a top guy at the time while I was 37. Hit him with the 1-1-2. Shift 3, shift 7. And a back hammer. Inside leg kick. Overhook on the top. Kick, punch, punch. Side kick to the knee, though purposely missing as he's preparing for a UFC fight, as I've talked about. Shift punch uppercut, or switch punch uppercut, and then I hit with the same hand again, just in a weird position. Experience. Kick punch punch kick with a little delay there. See later, I usually change that last kick, and there he tries to ride, goes and nails me! And got looks from people in the room. So as you saw in the opener, he is very dangerous with his left leg with Raigosh and mostly his Akiyama Osotogari sliding Osotogari or hopping in Osotogari. Though of course he's good with Kosotogaki, Ochigari to Osoto combinations, uh, etc. But really it's his left leg Osotogari variations, Raigosh variations that are the most dangerous. He's almost mounting there. I get back to half guard on the other side. And a big overhand there. And calf kick two right down the pipe. Give him a hard one. He was a brawler. Won a lot, lots of uh, fight of the night awards. Often versus bigger guys like his first fight in the UFC. And great judo skills and great banging. Now going with little MMA gloves. At Wajitsu KK. This is summer of 2014. End of the summer as he's preparing for a uh, first UFC fight in a while. So as you see, I hold my own pretty good against a top experienced guy. Trying to test myself and I got in really good shape. I was losing weight. I was eating junk food just to keep weight for the first time in my life. The sweltering summer, walking so much, going to train station, subways, hopping just to get to training and on the way back with lupus. And I would do very good at training, and then an hour later I could eat at 7-Eleven and barely stand up and barely manage to get back to the gym. So shifting combinations. You see my shifts, my switch stances, my shifting throws him off and throws off his takedown entries, usually. Though, of course, he nails me a couple times. See here I'm throwing a lot of uppercuts to persuade him not to. Not necessarily that they're going to hit, but shifting and moving so he can't get a beat on my timing for the takedown entries. There he does a takedown attempt there, double. I counter with guillotine and float my hips back. Mifune, Mifune style. I go first again. Switching punch with that shovel uppercut. Sorry, these guys' this conversation was obviously too important to block camera. Low kick. Let me throw in a few there because we don't have shin guards on. You see, if I boxed him straight up orthodox, guys, he would get a bit of the better of me. But if I would constantly shift, switch stance, and do a lot of softball, he was having much more difficulty reading distance and getting his timing down, etc. Oh, he tries the sliding Osoto there, but I happen to be shifting stance, which saved me from his Akiyama Osoto or 
sliding Osotogari that he's nailed so many fighters with, as you saw some of the pitchers in the intro. Some shift sevens. Long hooks is a seven in my advanced numbering system. You'll want to learn. Guys, look at all the others and then start looking at my advanced neo striking system. Anything labeled neo striking, or eventually I'm going to have videos in my cluster fighting system to give you a little taste, but you can start piecing things together. If the same strange looking combinations work over and over and over again against top guys, you might want to pay attention to that. Even if you think it looks weird or strange. Tried the Osoto again. I defended. Oh, but not a second time. But one minute left, so we've probably already been going three or four minutes. Two or four minutes. I'm not sure if it's three or five minute round. And I'm not sure if he's inside or half guard here. It looks like half guard. Looks like I'm getting back to a half and a half butterfly now. Don't worry, we go back to big gloves and a little bit better footage in a minute, guys. Stick with me. Please thumbs up, share, subscribe. How many other people really have footage going with tons of different top guys around the world, both sparring and grappling? So, yeah, I got guard, and I'm defending myself pretty well from bottom. You see that he was filming, his coach was filming, so I felt I could film too. Going to get up, wall walk, wall walk, wall walk. Get up. I should have worked on his head instead of just breaking away. Here, I could have really cranked and done more, but I was in the mentality of keeping my distance and trying to outstrike him. And it seemed like he wanted to hit pretty hard with big gloves, but he didn't want to hit that hard with little gloves. So, you know, I just always kind of counter the pressure that you know, a, a more experienced pro gives me. If he's got a fight coming up, that's one of the reasons I've been able to be a good sparring partner to so many guys, and I never hurt anybody. Here he shoots again, got the underhook, managed to get out, managed to defend the first time, ah, but he nailed me again with a second attempt. So, obviously, I'm experienced enough, my judo counter judo, from being a gokar in the bell, black belt, and going with Carl and many. Oh, I muscled my way up and got some response from the room. All right, back to big gloves here. I'm in all black Tyson style. He's in white and red. I land a couple punches and a back hammer again. Missed the low kick. Oh, and the two down the pipe lands perfectly. The seven misses, but it, it flowed. That shift flowed into an underhook. Real MMA striking is different than kickboxing striking, guys. Looks like he hit me a little low with that bad backside kick. He's keeping a little too out of range now. And the mosh pit hop long hooks uh, one landed. See a lot of the same strange looking stuff in my videos, guys. Pay attention here. Oh, the dip high kick lands pretty good, but he rolls with it. Now I'm on the outside gate. Look at my footwork. Open stances here, South Paul to Orthodox. I switch. Almost land all the, the kick, punch, punch, kick combo. I've since switched that kick usually to the liver because it often misses, though sometimes they will duck into it. You can cut them with the shin against the dome. Nice Conor McGregor-like left cross. Or did Conor watch me since this was filmed in 2014? One never knows. Keep it loose and flowy, my friend. There was a, I don't know if I was trying to kick sweep or if I'm just getting tired there. That was a bit of heavy leg. And I don't think he's that great of a kicker, but he has done well with a couple kicks in fights before. Backside kick, spinning hook kick. I think he got a spinning kick knockout early in his career. Beautiful left popper twice there. A two shift two. Oh, but he nails me again. I don't know, judo guys, was that a Hiragos or an Osotogari? You were kind of sideways because it's MMA. I don't know. All I know is I'm on my back and that hurt. <laughs> but it's towards, towards this end of the round. 
defending myself, trying to avoid letting him staple that arm into top mounted crucifix here. He's doing a pretty good job of picking some of his punches. Knee from bottom to the body, legal. He's definitely one of the better judo guys I've gone against. I'm amazed for him. Straight up no gi I've gone against. Uh, Paul Mistula, or not Paul Mistula, um, uh, Satoshi Ishii, and um, Makoto Takimoto, MMA fighters, judo, gold medalist, Olympians. But of course, going with guys like Karo, Manny, Gokar, helped prepare me pretty well. Other people would be tossing around uh, silly. I'm not taking too much damage. I'm not letting him mount. I'm not letting him get near a submission. He does a good punch here behind his leg. Look at that. Hidden punch. That was pretty sneaky. As he floats over to side control on the other side. I'm framing out his hips. Guys, when you're tired, especially with shin guards on, you're not always bridging and getting back to guard. Sometimes you're just surviving and hoping you did enough on the feet. And if you're near a wall, maybe you can wall walk. Okay, and to finish up here, there's Akani Basami on another a deep champion. And we'll finish there, guys. Please, thumbs up, share, subscribe. Hit that subscription button. I have earned it. Look at my neo-striking, my cluster fighting systems. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.